All right, gun sales rising across the country with nine swing states seeing a record-setting surge in background checks this year. This is Joe Biden pushes gun control less than 24 hours after two California deputies were ambushed in a patrol car, tweeting, the weapons of war have no place in our communities. Isn't that kind of odd? We need to ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. Were they even used in this event? Could this election come down to a battle over the Second Amendment and safety concerns? Here to react is attorney and gun rights activist Colleen Noir. Uh, Coleon, what's your reaction to these sales? It doesn't seem to surprise people who understand guns. No, no, no one should be surprised at all. I think at this point, everybody understands that their safety literally is in their own hands when things get bad. But but all things considered, I don't think anybody should be surprised with what Joe Biden did either, because it's, he's been running from the same playbook for the last 40 years now. And as Emmanuel, Rahm Emanuel, the former mayor of Chicago, once said, never let a tragedy go to waste. That's exactly what Joe Biden is doing here. At any given point, he's going to push for more gun control because his inherent goal is to undermine the Second Amendment, or from my standpoint, destroy the Second Amendment. Um, and, and a lot of people think I'm fear-mongering when I say things like that. But if you look at his gun control plan, the very first measure he has is basically removing the protection that the gun industry has from frivolous lawsuits that would inevitably end up destroying the industry entirely because of all the frivolous lawsuits that a lot of these anti-gun groups like to bring towards the gun industry in order to wrap it up in uh, as far as legislation, legality and basically have them in court so much that they don't have they don't have the time or the ability to do anything else in terms of running their business. And so as far as I'm concerned if you're allegedly pro 2A or somebody who supports the second amendment you're not going to try to remove a piece of legislation that's in mm -hmm. place and designed to protect the very industry that gives us the ability to to actually engage in that right. Yeah, and just in case anyone was listening on radio or doing a million things while we were doing that, we put up a full screen. The numbers are stunning. Uh, in terms of background mm -hmm. checks, uh, uh, Arizona is up 177%, Michigan 240%, Minnesota 88%, Pennsylvania 128%. You get the idea the country is alarmed that police, to a degree, have been essentially disempowered, so we almost feel like we're on our own. Well, I think, it, I think it's always been the case. And it's not because the police don't care or they don't want to do their job, but that's just always been the case. The police can't always be there. There just aren't enough cops. But what I think people are starting to realize now is they're starting to see it firsthand. A lot of us pro-gun people, we've always known this, and so we took measures to go out and make sure that we were in a position to defend ourselves whenever the police couldn't do it. But because right. of what's been going on in the chaos in 2020, now it's bringing it front and center, and people are starting to understand their vulnerability and trying to do something about it. And so, it's interesting, considering right. a lot of these people probably lean towards the left, but when, when the chips were down and it really came down to the most important thing, it was their right to own a firearm. So absolutely, I think it, this is going to be a big issue this year. All right, real quick, the assault weapons ban. During the Clinton years, it was put in place, and then it was overturned, and that's what Joe Biden wants to go back to. It doesn't look like it applies from what we can see from the L.A. shooting to begin with. But number two is... What would be bad about an, LA, uh, an assault weapons ban? Weapon of war, they say. Well, well, first of all, the assault weapons ban, the reason why they didn't reenact it is because it didn't work. That's what a lot of, that's what a lot of people don't realize. The reason, the reason why they did away with it is because they looked at it and they studied it and they said, well, this didn't do anything to affect crime. But the thing about an assault weapons ban is an AR-15, the assault weapons ban essentially bans the AR-15. And that is the most viable platform that we have right now to be able to protect yourself. And that's why it's also the most important rifle in the country right now. So having that, that's just a starting point. Because at some point, they're going to start with the AR-15, and inevitably, they're going to go on to the, the handguns, which is why Joe Biden, when he's referencing the shooting in L.A., he's talking about weapons of war, even though the individual used a handgun. He doesn't care. It doesn't matter what he used. His ultimate goal is to ban them all. Yeah, and that's what makes people want to buy him. Uh, just in case he wins, they'll feel they won't be able to get him. Uh, if they feel you're going to take your gun away, people go out and buy guns, and that explains a lot. Explains a lot of the surge in sales. Uh, Coleo yep, Noir, you're you're a man ahead of your time. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments and even days after you've had to use your gun in self-defense. When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be scary thinking about the psychological effects, potential jail time, and the court costs associated with the self-defense shooting. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through it, which is why I use concealed carry insurance with USCCA. 
As a USCCA member, you can mitigate, if not completely eliminate, the stress and financial burden of the legal battle you may face after a self-defense shooting. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description where I did a full review of this concealed carry insurance. However, there is a second link in the description where USCCA offers a 365 day money back guarantee, which lets you try it out for a whole year. And if you don't like it, get all your money back. And to help further spread our 2A message, don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit the bell and subscribe button. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident. And your state-specific Keep America tactical shirt? Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right-hand side of this video and click the link in the description.